What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode. We're here with a beautiful day. We're gonna go over to a new spot and uh, yeah, just hopefully see what we can get. We're hoping for some octopus and if not that, just some cole or something to fry for dinner. And uh, really a beautiful day, flat water, and we'll see you in there. I just came to our first spot. We've never gone over here before. My dad's trying to just knock me over. But uh, the water is crystal clear, and uh, there's a ton of coral, a ton of new territory. So I'm here with my friend. We're gonna bring him out, and hopefully we can get some fish for the frying pan, and uh, yeah, see how it goes. All right, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode. I'm so happy to be finally in the water again. It's been like two and a half months or something like that. But uh, yeah, I'm just really happy to be back and spearfishing again. Fortunately, the weather was amazing. I was able to take out a buddy and uh, we we're just on the hunt and today I'm just looking for some snapper uh, called Toao in Tahitian. These fish are a delicacy, but they are invasive. So whenever you see one, it's best to take them off the reef. Right here, I'm just looking at some kole and uh, I was going to spear one, but I begin to see a Toao in the distance right there. So uh, soon I'll decide to go back to the surface and I'm gonna strap that second band on just because this spot apparently has a ton of toao and for the most part they're not as skittish as the other spots because like I said I'm checking out a new spot and uh, I want to take the most out of it and hopefully we can uh, get some toao on the dinner table. So here I spot some toao I'm just diving down to see if I can get one but as you can see they're very docile they're coming right up to me very curious all you have to do is just look non-threatening and you can see here they come up and I'm able to get a shot on that one Unfortunately though, as you can see here, it was in my hands, but I shot it so low, it just tore off as soon as I touched it. Yeah, it can be dinner for an eel or something, but I'm not too worried about it because these fish are invasive and it's better to get them off the reef anyways, but I'm still bummed out that I couldn't get it for dinner. So coming up right here, as you can see, there's a toal that keeps ducking in and out of this little hole right here. So I dive down and I'm just waiting for it to peek its head out and uh, these to'ao are amazing. We're gonna try out a new recipe today um, involving some fried to'ao and snapper on the skillet and hopefully uh, we're able to get one for that. But as you can see here, I shoot and it's just a little over. I slowed it down and I shot right over its tail. So not the best placement. Um, I thought I got it at first, but ducked at the last second. And uh, yeah, getting back into spear fishing after two and a half months, these things are just gonna happen and you just gotta move on. So right here guys, I see this amazing cave and I saw a few Tawao duck in and out of it. So I'm just gonna dive down right here and uh, I just want you to watch um, what happens actually. As soon as I duck my head up, right there, a white tip reef shark comes out of the coral structure and I'm just so stoked. My friend hasn't really dove with sharks before so I'm really excited to get him to look at this thing. So I'm just pointing it out and uh, he doesn't see it until later <laughs> right here, but a uh, really fun time and these sharks are extremely docile, so as you can see over here, I'm diving down and uh, you know, as long as you're keeping your distance with these white tip reef sharks and not provoking them in any way, uh, feel free to swim with them. Just as long as you're not provoking them, they will not act aggressively towards you at all. And you may be wondering um, that spirit fishermen don't like to see sharks whenever they're diving, but this is in fact not true. Without sharks at a reef, the food chain would be unbalanced and eventually the ecosystem would collapse. So when there are sharks present, that's how you know you're spearfishing or fishing in a great spot and to continue there and uh, just not let, to let the sharks phase you, just keep your distance. And uh, if they do eventually act aggressively, which is very unlikely for this species of shark, uh, you do have something to poke them with. Just give them a little tight nudge and uh, they'll be on their way. So right here, I see a nice little pocket of sand that I can wedge myself in between. I saw a few snapper in the distance. So I'm gonna dive down and I'll show you a technique that I guarantee will attract more fish to you. Um, so as soon as I come down over here to this little sandy pocket, I'm gonna wedge myself and I'm gonna start patting the sand. And whenever I'm dusting the sand, this resembles a predator or some sort of action that is going on. Something is looking for food and that sand raises up. 
So all the young fish and the little fish and uh, the other predatory fish around come to check it out because they'll get a free meal. So as you see, when I turn around, that snapper is right there, uh, right in my face. Unfortunately, I didn't have enough time to react and he swam off. But uh, that is a great example of how to attract some fish to you. Uh, grunting will also do this. Sometimes scratching the coral will do this with some fish. But uh, typically, a good rule of thumb is to pat up the sand and that will, you know, automatically generate curiosity in other fish. Way over here in the distance, you can see that green sea turtle. Such beautiful and graceful animals. We saw probably 20 on this dive and it's a great welcome call. Just coming back from a long break of not spear fishing and then watching all these beautiful turtles just gracefully swim underwater. Such a pleasant sight. So right here, I'm gonna do another drop and I'm still looking for those talao, but I do see some surgeon fish over here in this little pass and honestly these fish I could have shot with a bigger gun and the gun that I was using was just a small gun um, it's not really meant for bigger fish and longer shots so once we go to the same spot we're gonna bring out our uh, big wooden gun and then this will be really useful for spearing some of these fish um, that are farther and bigger so I'm just looking around the area not really seeing much these surgeon fish are coming around for another pass Probably could have shot that one, but I decided to let it go. And uh, yeah, if I used a bigger gun, it would have helped. But right here, all these jacks come and I try and get a shot on it. But I uh, got a little excited there. Um, shot a little too far behind, but they were moving at some pretty great speed. And even with that wooden gun, I don't think I would have been able to shoot them. But uh, it's good to know that some of those Papillo are over here and of decent size. So it's not like you're getting any small ones. And uh, yeah, we'll have to go back to this spot with the bigger gun, see what we get right here I uh, come down I wasn't really expecting to shoot any of these fish because just because of the size of my gun but uh, you can see here I turned around real quick I have some problems with my clip but as I come back it just looks like an aquarium there are so many beautiful fish and uh, you can just see all of the different fish with that bigger gun I definitely could have shot one of these but wasn't really comfortable in taking a shot with a small gun from a far distance like that but uh, just beautiful water and so blessed to be able to go out here and uh, just enjoy some time out on the water. Right here is another reef shark in the cave. It just darted out and uh, really beautiful creatures, very graceful. And I was really fortunate to see a bunch on these dives. Um, super cool experience. And I'll definitely be coming back here to go see if we can find some more. Another beautiful turtle doing a little flyby. There's my friend, he's looking for some fish, but uh, I haven't been able to get one yet um, just because of the, our gun. Uh, hopefully we can get some more with the bigger gun. So at this point in time, I see a group of towao underneath this rock ledge. Keep in mind that this is the same ledge that the white tip reef shark came out uh, in the beginning of the video. So I'm coming over to this ledge and I see a bunch of towao. So I'm going to dive down extremely slowly. I'm trying not to look like a predator at all to these fish because they are very skittish and I'm just moving over and fortunately I'm able to get one of these fish uh, it peeks its head out and then it goes around the corner and I know it's going to come right back but uh yeah that one right there and so I'm able to shoot this fish as it comes back around and just I want you to see if there's anything unusual as I come back up for air did you catch it if not, I'm gonna go ahead and replay it in slow motion and uh, look to, towards the top left part of the screen and you'll guarantee see it. Now right there, that's the same exact white tip reef shark in the cave. Um, I didn't see it on my dive, but I'm so happy I got it on footage. Uh, the white tip reef shark was probably aroused by that fish and came over just to look at what's happening um, but as soon as I came down, it decided not to go for it and just turned right back into its little coral hole. And uh, I find that fascinating that the white tip reef sharks will remember where they live uh, because these sharks typically don't migrate around as much. They tend to stay in a nice pocket of coral whenever they find one. And so it's really impressive how the shark was able to go out and then come right back to the same spot. So in the future, we can go back and uh, check him out, see if he's still there. But uh, yeah, just really cool experience and uh, didn't see him when I was coming back up for air, but I'm glad I got it on. So yeah, I was able to get a towel for uh, dinner and I was really, really excited. Um, 
I haven't gotten one of these in so long and it's gonna taste amazing. But yeah, just coming over here and stringing up the fish. It's been a wonderful day. Really happy to get this fish. Tawau are one of my favorites to eat and uh, it's really nice because there's no size limit because they're invasive. So it's a really, really good fish to get for beginners and uh, people who just wanna go out and have some fun on the water. All right, folks, we're just wrapping it up. We're able to get a snapper and a few cole. Bring it back to the boat. Bring it back home, cook them up. And uh, what a beautiful day. Saw a ton of turtles, two sharks, and uh, all together a fun experience. Have to come out here again. Woo!